Your side reporter Shannon Benkin is in Las Vegas tonight. She is there to learn how to better protect homeowners in the Tampa Bay area. Shannon is joining us live tonight from the Las Vegas Strip. All right, Shannon, I know you're there for a journalism convention, but you're also being recognized with a national award, I might point out, for a Better Call Banking investigation. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, Keith, we're having a lot of fun here, and I'm gaining a lot of valuable tips to keep fighting fraud in Tampa Bay. But this award is for a story that we've been working on for more than two years. We call it Sinkhole Deceit. Victoria and Adam Cooper turned to me for help after learning their new home came with a dangerous secret. And it started with a lie. And then it followed up with incompetence. The couple who sold them this Spring Hill house vowed on a disclosure form there was no sinkhole activity. Not exactly. In fact, Chuck and Mary Grace Serena had already filed a sinkhole insurance claim and cashed in on a settlement for $155,000. But instead of stabilizing the ground to protect this house, they kept the money and sold the house to the Coopers, collecting another $275,000. Our Eight on Your Side investigation got the attention of FDLE. In November, they made the stunning announcement of five arrests on charges of scheme to defraud. Arrested were the Serenas, real estate agents on both sides of the deal, plus their mortgage broker. All it was all about money. The justice system is moving slowly, though. Seven months later, a new team in the state attorney's office has filed charges against only the mortgage broker. Just last week, the head prosecutor told me they may decline to press charges against the others that FDLE determined are responsible for this sinkhole deceit. Now, I've reached out to the state attorney's office, and they tell me that they're skeptical of whether they have a strong criminal case, but FDLE tells me they want all five of these people prosecuted. We will continue to follow this story as it develops. Keith? So you got five people arrested. Did the family sue any of those individuals? They did, actually. They sued several of them. The criminal case is still ongoing, as I mentioned, and the civil case against the sellers is ongoing as well. And we understand that one of the real estate agents has already settled with the family. So, again, we're fighting to try to help this family get the money that they need to fix this house because they were hurt by this deceit, Keith. And we know that's the most important thing. But, again, congratulations on the award you're receiving there in Las Vegas tonight. Our very own Shannon Banking. congratulations to you and your team. Jim Parkour, everybody doing a nice job there. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. The telephone number on your screen, 1-855-BANKIN.